Hello everybody, welcome back. This is the title of the video for you. And I just wanted to show you something that I just came up with recently for my game boards. What you're looking at here is a... that's a... a Ghouls and Ghosts, and I've mounted it on a cutting board. I picked this up at Walmart. It was like six bucks for the cutting board. Gives me a nice handle. Keeps the game kind of on its own platform. And uh, <clears throat> this might not work well for everybody else, but for me I've got a lot of... I've got a cabinets... you know, a lot of games, more games than cabinets. And uh, so I keep them on a shelf, and uh, this way I can kind of keep them a little bit more separated, and they're not going to be bashed into each other. Um, I'm just going to say I, I use this. Uh, I'll show you this right here. I'm using these kind of screws, little short screws. They're uh, they're called window framing screws at the hardware store. They're just a nice little, very sharp point screw. That just makes it easy to drive them right in. I'm going to put this last one in on this board. So this is a CPS-1 board. See, it's pretty easy to screw this right in. There you go. So this one's fully in there. Now I've got a nice handle I can handle it by. And the edge connector is protected, you know, from like that. I mean, it's not, not perfect protection. I suppose if you really wanted to protect it well, Take a second one of these and use some kind of standoff and mount it like that. And that would keep it pretty well protected, I think. You wouldn't have any problems that way. Um, just like a long, I will use some long bolts. And I might do that on some boards just to, just to try it out. But I don't need to do it this one. So there's my ghouls and ghosts. That's all set up. And uh, here's a Street Fighter 2. Turbo, which is the same board set as the Ghouls and Ghosts. Just got to peel. Well, oh, here's here's what the board is, the cutting board. It's a uh, Walmart mainstays. It's 11 by 14 and a half. Now this won't work for every board because some boards are larger than this. But for the CPS one boards, they work works great. And I'm just mounting it so that the JAMA connector is towards the bottom. I'll get my feet all a nice position here. This is kind of set up kind of funny. Here. Okay. I want to leave just enough room so my hands don't hit the handle hole. Now these screws are a tiny bit long with that with the metal feet, but with these feet they'll be perfect. Won't have to worry about going all the way through. The other ones I did not put them in all the way, but you shouldn't have to anyways. There we go. So now the Street Fighter 2 is nicely mounted with a handle on it. And I'll show you, before you do that though, I'll show you this too. So, some games are a little bit, the boards are a little bit larger. So I, I found this uh, 
cutting board. It's still a little small, but it has the right length. This is my uh, Rastan board right here. And uh, this was in a three pack right here. Another mainstays one. And uh, so this bottom cutting board is big enough to do this with. Um, but the problem is I don't have enough... Uh, I need to get some feet for this board because there's no feet on it right now. So I'm going to be ordering some from Bob Roberts. And uh, I might put this one on. I'm not sure which one I'm going to put on this. You can also... Uh, the Black Tiger board would actually probably fit it much better. Because this board's a little bit longer. The, this cutting board's longer. So yeah, so this would... This one would work pretty well with the Black Tiger. And I might look around for a slightly larger one for, uh, for Rastan. Yeah, this, would work. this one's great for the Black Tiger, as you can see. And uh, just to show you another thing here. This is what I was doing before. This is a, a bootleg... Uh, it's a bootleg uh, Ghosts and Goblins, and I have just a piece of thin uh, plywood. Um, I think it's like quarter-inch ply. And just have it mounted on this. And that works pretty well. And the reason I, I'm doing this is not only to keep them kind of separated, but also when I go to put them in a, in a cabinet... Just move this out of the way. So, bring it over here. Here's my uh, Marvel vs. Capcom cabinet. And uh, when I want to play a game in this, now I can easily put it in the cabinet. I'll show you what I mean. Well, actually, I'll show you what I've got going on right now. So there's that double dragon from the other day is still in here. You can see it's just kind of, i got to balance kind of precariously. And I wasn't really playing this hard, so it didn't really matter. And uh, so I'm going to take this one out. There. And then I've got all these, uh, I have these sitting on a bin. They kind of tipped over a little bit, so they're not perfect right now. But anyways, I'm going to fix that. Those are, I got six uh, CPS two board sets in there. So, now I can just take this board and, uh, well, if it were not such a mess inside there, there we go. I can just set it like this for now. Get my JAMA connector, which it fell down. You guys even saw that. <laughs> Hold on a second, I'm making a mess of this video. There you go, my uh, macro lens was up. Okay, good point aside. Okay, so now it's in there. Turn it on. some ghouls and ghosts. You have to adjust the monitor. It's kind of off. Uh, split, d double dragon. The monitor is uh, pretty skewed. You have to move the picture around.
Oh no! Whoa, don't get that. Oh, I got it. Anyways, so the point here is to be able to change the games easily and not worry about damaging them in the process. Let's take this one out. here. If I remember correctly, it's the second one. Sound, oh, probably, probably the volume turned down. There we go. Yep. Round one. guys see basically how this works it's a uh, I'm pretty happy with the idea of doing it this way we'll see how it works out for me but it's got to be better than the way I have them right now which is like this all kind of line over on each other so this should protect them a lot better so uh, yeah thanks for watching guys and um, I'll have more videos for you coming up and uh, yeah so that's it <laughs>